Hi everybody again for us because we just recorded like the most fun produce pick video ever but for some reason my stupid computer didn't record it, right? We were very disappointed. Oh, because that's how it ended. Alright, don't do that till the end. Don't do it till the end. Don't do it. Okay. So anyway, I have to now think of everything that I told you in the last video. I'm a little disappointed because it was a really cute video with Kat and Ryan. And we talked about how we had breakfast. And we made waffles out of our banana pan um, batter. And Kat was enjoying the yogurt when we first started. So let me recap and re-record for you. I'm very, very disappointed. <laughs> first of all, we're in a disaster zone here because I am moving. And the pod is coming on Friday, and today is Monday, and um, we're in full-fledged packing mode. But to, to hold some of my sanity together, I went grocery shopping yesterday to pick up some fresh foods. <laughs> so I, um, I thought before we would leave, this is kind of our goodbye video for this kitchen, because we'll be out of here soon and into an apartment while we wait for our new house to be built. Um, I thought we would leave on a produce pick note. So what we did was um, pick out two produce, and now you can't even see them whole because they're not they're on the old video that we lost. All right, goof. So the first thing we tried was an ugly fruit, and I will put a picture in so you can see what one looks like since I don't have a full ugly fruit now because we just. But here's what the skin looks like. Um, it's kind of a, I believe it's from Jamaica, and it's a combination of a tangerine grapefruit. And we peeled it, and it was super easy to peel because the, it's got lots of bumps and stuff, like on like an orange where sometimes you have a hard time. So, and when you peeled it, you got sections, just like an orange. And Mom really enjoyed it. And I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that again. Don't do it again. I Don't do it again. Do. I did enjoy it. Tyler, here, you want to just put, put your hand? No. 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 <laughs> it's got a little bit of an adult, sophisticated taste, surprisingly, for being an ugly fruit. Um, it tastes like a tangerine with the, with lemon. It, it's it's mildly sweet, a lot, very juicy, um, and just a fun, very refreshing, like a great summer, a summer fruit. I love it. It's really, really good. Mm. <laughs> I will definitely be buying these again for me. I'm sure he'll come around because they're really good. I see you, goof. <laughs> the second fruit we tried in the lost video was a Santa Claus melon. And you can kind of see what it would look like this way. Um, it looks like a green little football. And I, at the grocery store, they had this big bucket of exotic melons. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to pick one out of here and try it. And, and we'll just try a new melon with you guys. I came home and I researched the Santa Claus melon. And I found that they're in season from June through October. Oh, you want to do the seeds? Here. Did I put them in the bowl? How do I scrape them out? Here, scrape them out. They're in season from June through October, but they have a really long shelf life. So they're called Christmas melons or Santa Claus melons because they can last uh, until December, and you can actually have melons um, during the winter months. That's that's what I uncovered anyway. Someone may want to correct me if I'm wrong or if you know anything else about the naming of the Santa Claus melon because it doesn't look like Santa Claus. <laughs> no, no, don't scrape the flesh, just the seeds. So we cut into this, and... Um, we were both very pleasantly surprised, right? As you can see, oh, you want to do that one now? Cat uh, was just taking bites out of it. <laughs> he just picked it up and started taking bites out of it. It's really good. Let me cut this one for mom so I can. Oh, you're dripping juice everywhere. Is it good? You want to tell them what it tastes like? Oh, careful. Do you want to tell them what it tastes like? All right, how about we leave one intact so mom can have some fruit, and you take the balls out of that one. Okay. All right, so you can cut it just like you would a cantaloupe or a honeydew. You know, I like to cut it in sections and then slide, and you can get the, the skin or the rind right off. And this melon, it, the seeds are kind of orange-tinted like cantaloupe seeds, but then the flesh was really, <laughs> the flesh is really more like a, look, looks like a honeydew. And again, it's a mild sweetness. 
It's not over the top sweet, although this one's really ripe. It's really good. And the flesh kind of has this little bit of grittiness to it. And it's really good. It's really refreshing. This one's room temperature. It would be even better cold for the summer. <laughs> I actually like it better than a cantaloupe, and I've never had one before. I'm, ho I'm hoping that my grocery store keeps them in stock all summer. All right, you're being a real goof now. More of a goof than you were in the first video. <laughs> so this is a big hit. Toddler thinks what? Thumbs up? <laughs> right. Cat. Thumbs up? On the melon? You want a bite? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so I hope we salvaged our produce pick video. Um, like I said, we lost... Are we going to say bye? We already said bye. One second. One second. Hold on. Let me just wrap it up, okay? Um, what was I saying? Oh! That we lost the first video, and I'm sorry you didn't get to see the fruits whole. But like I said, I'll put some still images in the video, and that way you can get, you know, find out what they look like. And um, this is probably goodbye to our kitchen. Maybe we'll try to do one more before we leave, but I highly doubt it. We're in the middle of that move, so we'll be back in our temporary apartment kitchen with some ideas, I think. Right? Bye. It's time to. All right. Okay. I'm getting. All right. It was funnier when it wasn't. When it was on, like, I don't know, the first time it happened. Now it's just, he's being I have to get him to school, so we're going to go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you in a little over a week or so for our next video. Bye, guys.